Shalom, Yasharala, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekak, Wadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, citations to the Lekman feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and sincerity and truth with his great gospel, man, with his great gospel, and um, that's what you're supposed to be arming yourself with, this gospel, this truth, right, so you can withstand this devil, because this devil is, is on a mission. He's on a mission to what destroy who you Israelites and Israelites to what different philosophies, right? Different deities, right? To sin, right? Satan over here to set Satan was set up to get you to go off. Get you to go off. And um, yeah, of course he's messing with your fucking mind. That's his job. That's his job. But you're supposed to know how to fight this devil. Right? You're supposed to know how to fight this devil. Matter of fact, let me start with this one verse. Since I kind of quoted it, bear with me. This is the book of, I'm going to read Ephesians 6 and 11. put on the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil put on the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil right let me keep reading come on come on devil here we go for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with preparation of the gospel of peace. Right? Above all, taking the shield of faith. The main thing is just truth. You gotta have faith, right? And your feet shod with the preparation of gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery, fiery darts of the wicked, right? Because the wicked, he's throwing them darts, right? The wicked is on a mission. He's trying to see who, how many souls he can destroy, right? What it says... Go to First Peter's five and eight, and it reads: Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in faith, <laughs> knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Who resist steadfast in faith? Right, you gotta believe in this. Believe in the Lord, put your faith in the Lord, because you're going to be tried, right? You're going to come across some situations that's just going to fucking tear your mind up. Thinking, oh man, ain't no, there's no solution for this. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And you start panicking. Instead of praying, you should be praying instead of panicking. But it's, instead of praying, you're panicking, right? As a matter of fact, let me go back a little bit. Let me go back a little bit. Bear with your brother. I'm read the book first Peter 5 and 6 it says humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of the most high that he may exalt you in due time casting all your care upon him for he careth for you right casting all your care upon him for he careth for you right because the Lord what the Lord say It 
the book of First Corinthians. I'm going to read 10 verse 13. There have no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But the Most High is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able? But will, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape? That ye may be able to bear it. That you may be. Forgive me for. Um, I was looking for this verse. This fucking internet keep messing up. But I'm reading again. Ecclesiastic is 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old. Right. That's why it says the things written before times. Were written for our learning. Right. And we've seen the faith of Moses. We've seen the faith of um, Noah. Right. We've seen King, the spirit on King David. Right? So what what Solomon asked for? He didn't ask for riches, he asked for wisdom. Right? We gotta put our spirit in the same spirit as these men of the Lord. He says, look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did the Lord ever despise that called upon him? Right? Hey, the Lord said you call upon him, he gonna hear. Right? Why ain't why a lot of our people they're not calling upon the Lord. They calling on these, they calling on help. Hey mama, a lot of niggas from the gun got killed in the past few years, man. Guess who they was calling on that last call? Mama. They was calling for their mama, grown ass men. They was calling for their mamas. That's they new, that's a new God on earth, the black woman. Lati the, the woman. Mama. They weren't calling on your how about Shim Shai. You had one dude, he was calling on Jesus. When the cop was kicking his ass. And the cop asked him where Jesus is at now and then kicked him. Right? So we already know you guys are calling on the wrong things. You're putting your trust in the wrong things. I'm reading again. I'm going to start at. I'm going to go back. Let me start at Ecclesiastes 2 and 6. The Bible says to believe in him. Who's that? Yahweh Shem outside the God of the earth, the power of the earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside lest he fall, lest he fall. So if you stop believing in him, you're gonna fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe in him, and your reward shall what not fail. Your reward shall not fail. And the Lord is not a liar. So if you continue to trust in the Lord, guarantee a reward. A guaranteed reward. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Yeah. You know, of course, in this world, you, you be panicking, you be worried. But at most, at the, at the same time, the Bible tells you, ye that fear the Lord, believe in him. So like, I'm going to read that again. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. And go not aside lest he fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe in him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. That's why, yeah, when the, we ain't worried about the famine that's coming. Right? We're not worried about World War III. We're not worried about the destruction of America. Because we're, we're putting our fear in the Lord. We're not afraid of these things that are coming. We're afraid of it if the Lord removed the Holy Spirit from us. We're afraid of the Lord not dealing with us. That's our only fear. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for the everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that call upon him? Right? The Lord is full of comp compassion and mercy, long suffering Ooh, long suffering and very pitiful and, and forgive forgive of sins and save it in the time of what affliction right woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands and to the sinners that go two ways woe to him that is faint hearted for he believeth not therefore shall he not be defended man. <laughs> right you're getting weak your mind starting to play tricks on you right you starting not to believe, right? That's what's going on in this society. And I'm talking to you, brothers, in the truth. Fuck the two thirds. Yeah, they supposed to be going through mental depression. But once you come into this truth, Satan start messing with your mind, right? Satan start messing with your mind, and he knows how to attack, right? He's gonna attack 
your loved ones, right? He's going to attack your finances. And when he start messing with your mind, he's going to make you think things are going a certain way when it's really not. Things are going according to the ways the Lord planned it. And everything is what? Going according to plan. <laughs> yeah, everything is going according to plan. Babylon is falling. Women are being killed. The wicked ass women are being killed. Wicked ass niggas and two thirds and Edomites are being judged and heathens. So, hey, everything is beautiful. All we got to do is what? Keep, continue to trust in the Lord. Continue to trust in the Lord. Matter of fact, bear with me. I'm going to finish with... Um, Finish with this verse right here. Um, if the Lord ain't dealing with you, man, this is what's about to happen to your ass. The Lord's about to give you over to a reprobate mind. Like the Lord's gonna let this devil fuck with you and tear you to pieces. Right? You ain't gonna have no faith. You ain't gonna have no um. You ain't gonna have no solution to the problems that you're going through. Right? Your psychologist ain't gonna be able to help. Right? Talking to, you ain't gonna have nobody to talk to. You're gonna end up be talking to your goddamn self, losing your mind, right? Because the Lord's gonna give you over to that spirit. I'm gonna read the book of Romans 1 and let's go to. I'll start at 28. And even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind, right? You don't wanna, you don't wanna believe in this truth. Right? You stop believing in this truth. Right? This truth is not important to you. Because this is your only protection against the devil. Right? This is your only shield. This is your only defense against the wilds of the devil. So guess what? And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, most high gave them over to reprobate mind to do things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness full of envy murder, debate, deceit malignity whispers, backbiters, haters of God right? you start hating the most high as the devil, as the most high gave you over to that reprobate mind let Satan enter into your mind and start fucking with you the spirit of Satan unhopped in you and became proud, right? Inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents without understanding, covenant breakers without natural infection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do, of them that do them. Right? So, yeah, the Lord's about to do, do a lot of killing on the earth, man, because a lot of you people, you didn't like, you didn't know I want to retain the knowledge of the most high. So, what? Now the devil's just fucking with your mind. <laughs> the Lord gave you over to a reprobate mind. 